Hello and welcome to another video about content security policy on damn vulnerable web application. Um, now, I just checked this out and unfortunately, uh, <laughs> since they created this to now, they haven't upgraded the content security policy in the damn mobile web application to be supporting this. The the paste bin one that we're going to exploit is not working anymore. They actually give us a direct URL here. We should basically just be able to copy paste, put it there and win. That URL contains a raw alert. Now, let me explain what this is first of all. Now, CSP or Content Security Policy is a header. It is a header in the actual HTTP request that you can see. So if you go ahead and upload network tab and just say recent, and you go ahead and pick the one that there, and you make it a bit smaller, bigger, and everything so you can see it, then you will see that there's a Content Security Policy right there saying paste bin. And if you can, include sources from pastebin, well then we could uh, create a JavaScript, for example, which is what this is all about. Content security policy defines what, which kind of addresses, you know, domains we can include uh, files from, you know, source code, stuff like that. So we can do pastebin now. The other ones we have no control over, but pastebin essentially, but but pastebin they uh, changed their content policy to no sniff, I think it is, and basically we're not able to use that anymore. What there is actually able to be using is us to look at the source code just to check out how it looks. Now we can see that it includes uh, whatever we put inside the, the the post formula. This whoops, this one right here. And that is being included directly into a script tag for us. So this is actually meant to include raw JavaScript and execute that directly. We should be able to create some sort of pop-up or something like that. What we could do, because it does say script source self, what we could do is to place a, um, a JavaScript directly, you know, <laughs> inside the source code of the domain we are on. We are on the domain of this particular, you know, IP. It's on TryHackMe. But let me just be clear with you. If you have access to the server and you can write files to the server, you don't care about CSP, right? You don't care about creating a JavaScript pop up on the screen saying XSS. You don't do it. You have access already. So I and again, I I, I don't think Troy Hackney actually going to give me the the possibility to to do this. So I just want to say that I cannot I cannot show you. I can tell you this is the way you would have to do it. You would you would go to Pastebin. And, and you will create, not, 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 this is raw, but the unraw version is the same. And mm, there should be, um, yeah, so it's a Digit Ninja, and that's also the guy that module created by. So probably somewhere over the rainbow, Digi Ninja discussed this issue and never really did anything about it. But if you do these kind of things with CSP and you have the content security policy header, you better know what you're doing uh, if you're including source code from outside, especially JavaScript. Because we're kind of back to the same thing as, in a way, it's uh, the same as XSS cross scripting. If you can get a script directly included on your website, it's actually remote JavaScript inclusion. Well, then you have a vulnerability and it's something you can use to your own advantage. So I want to say for this video, uh, demonstration purposes, I have no access to the server here that I'm on and the content security policy doesn't really allow me to do a successful demonstration. Nothing I can do about it. I could install the damn vulnerable web application on my own machine just to do an actual demonstration and playing with the thought that I have access to the server. but. I don't have access to the server 
if I do have access to the server, <laughs> then why would I do content security policy bypass? It doesn't make sense. So I want to say, I really hope you learned something at least from this video and I'm a bit disappointed, probably you can say that, but um, clearly I do understand what it's all about. I hope you understand what it's all about. I hope I explained the ways you understand it and hope to see you again online. Have a really nice day. Thank you.